and welcome, welcome to OCW Magic Empire's Path to Madness. This is the night, the first night of our latest tour. I am your, the Lord of Lariat, the Maestro of Madness, the Messiah of the Multiverse, the Overlord Mugen. And joining me right to my side here is... The trash man Ryu, the Spider Matsumoto, and what do we have here? We should have we should be having Bernie Sanders coming out, but this is Misawa. He has another match later tonight. What's going on? I've been told that uh I've been told just been by the, the officials backstage that apparently Bernie Sanders just paid off Misawa because he does not want to face the German Olympic athlete Bertha Stiglitz, and I I I, I don't blame him. I, I, he's a smart man. Bertha Bertha kills people in that ring, and uh, he's smart to have Misawa take the bullet this time. But is it smart for Misawa to, to take a match on short notice, knowing that he has another one tonight? We'll see. Maybe he can be the one to end uh, Bertha's dominant streak as of late. Mm. Well, right now, he's getting his ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking good for it's him. It's not looking too good. Although he's getting these strikes in, he's uh, getting through Bertha's grappling. Uh, just as I say that, he oh, has. Oh, the, Mongolian chops! Oh, <laughs> good lord! Well, like I said, this is the night, the first night of the Path to Madness, which will lead to the March Madness pay-per-view at the end of the month of March, appropriately. Um, so, what, what else do we have on the card tonight? We've got. The first round matches of the Tag Team Contender Tournament. We have the teams of uh, Justin Trudeau and Lance Storm, also known as Completely Amazing, Naturally Awesome Defenders of the Americas. We also have our friend Misawa in the ring and his rival, uh, Kenta Kobashi, as a team. Rivals turned friends for one night. Be interesting to see. Be very Hopefully more than one night if they can advance. Oh, of course, I'm not not saying that it's a it's a one night affair, but who knows? It might be a one night affair for Masawa after that suplex. <laughs> Holy smokes! Yeah, he is just whoop oh, snap mare. He's he's trying to get some control. He's getting some moves here and there, I'm trying to cut her down at the legs. Good good strategy. Good strategy. Well, well, that's not a good strategy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. He's countering that ground game. Very. Raining Ooh. down some elbows. Now she oh, nice. is, you, you know a bit more about Bertha, so tell about our audiences. Well, Bertha was an Olympic powerlifter, and uh, after completing her career in powerlifting, she made the transition to professional wrestling, where she uh, makes her, her career powerlifting uh, other wrestlers over her head, as mm. we've been seeing tonight. Oh, oh, oh wow. to the hardest Sal part of the ring. taking it to Bertha, though. He's lasting longer than uh, a lot of other competitors do against Bertha. Yes, I mean, just, just, ooh, that's not sent. good. That's yeah, not he good. got sent out of uh, the ring on his own right. That's not good. He's getting a bit of his own medicine from, oh, oh, strikes. Oop. Oh, ooh, a suplex oh. of his own. Suplex These two are resting. And Bertha gets up first. Oh, yeah. smokes. We also have the uh, another match for the tag team tournament, as we mentioned before. We have the tag team of Rick and Morty versus the team of Tyler Creator and Finn from Adventure Time. Oh. Is he going to be coming down with a sword to the match? So, I mean, this is the Magic Empire, so anything can happen. Anything can happen. We have on our card, we also have a waifu betel between... Ooh. Well, I I just want to say my wife is the best, but... I uh, think my wife was a little better. But we could both agree that Tiberius Dupree's waifu is not as good as either one of ours. Hot garbage. Hot garbage. And that matches my waifu, Asuka, versus your waifu, Emma, versus Tiberius Dupree's boo. <laughs> Stephanie McMahon, boo. <laughs> boo. She cheats. She cheats. And Misawa going for a pinfall. Mm. Oh, near fall. You know, Misawa's doing a lot better Whoa. than I expected in this match. No breaks. But one has to imagine he might be expending a little too much energy before his uh, match later tonight. I mean, thankfully that is a tag match later, so he could rely on his uh, tag team partner, but 
I fairly, I mean, frankly, if I was his tag team partner, I'd be a little mad right now as to why he agreed to this. Upset and concerned, but you have to imagine Bernie Sanders with his uh, socialist wealth made it uh, very, very lucrative for uh, Misawa to agree. Mm -hmm. But that's odd because Misawa is Japanese. So what benefits could he provide? Eh, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna speculate. Nope. Oh! You can speculate about that suplex onto the apron. Well, we might need some universal health care after that one. Mm. And we also have another match tonight. Uh, a dream match, in fact. It's gonna be competed in MMA rules. We have the MMA ring set up. Next to us, the Dodecagon is set up. The Dodecahedron. <laughs> get it right. Dode <laughs> I, I will get it right one day. I will get it right one day. Uh, that match will be Matt Riddle, former UFC. Oh, player. is it over? The, Bertha's oh. ended a lot of matches with this. Oh, the punches between the legs. Through the groin between the legs. Oh. Misawa survived. He's showing some Herculean strength in this match. But the long, you gotta think the longer this match lasts, the uh, less beneficial it is for him with a strong elbow right there. Mm -hmm. She is dazed. Oh, not for long. Nope. Not for long. Ah, but she's getting tilt. Nope. I was going to say she's taking a while to get up, but she popped right back. Like I said, it's uh, Matt Riddell, former UFC competitor against his arch nemesis, Loki. Loki. He's been calling out Loki on the, uh, the social media circuits, on just promos. He wants Loki. And, and they're finally meeting here in the Magic Empire in the Dodecahedron. Dodecahedron. Oh, Mongolian chops. Mongolian! Like I said, we also have more matches. We got the Triforce Championship being defended. That is our six man tag team championship. The reigning defending champions of the MMA Elite uh, Boss Rutten, Mirko Krokop, and Fader Emilia Nyko. Versus the Night Stalkers. Your son in this match, actually. My son, Trash Jr., Cassidy Hayes. Cassidy Hayes teaming up with some other vampire enthusiasts, I'm just yeah. to say. Uh, Wampiro and Gangrel. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure uh, these guys have as much chemistry. Whoa! Whoa, big suplex from Misawa. And a bridge. Ooh. The Bertha. Person. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. It might oh, be over here. No, the punch is through. The, oh, the ref, the, the ref is calling the match. The ref calls it for Misawa safety. Ooh, the ref is calling the match. Well, before we get to our next match, we have some commercials, so stay tuned, and we got more Magic Empire coming back at you. Igor. Go and get me what I crave. Evening, Igor. If you want a better orange soda, made with more natural orange flavor than ever before, try Shasta. It's got the bright color, the sweet smell, and the great taste of oranges. Shasta, it's the orange soda that can make anybody happy. And welcome back. Welcome back. We And we have Canada coming out. We have Canada. The completely amazing, naturally awesome defenders of the Americas. The uh, the champion of freedom, Justin Trudeau. And uh, the man from Calgary, Alberta, the man, Canada. The man of a thousand emotions, Lance Storm. <laughs> so. And uh, uh, here, here comes Misawa back out with Kobashi. I heard he got a little bit of that cooling ice spray backstage. It's going to rejuvenate him a lot. Hopefully, uh, ease the pain of the punches rained down upon him by Bertha. Now, do you think if he knew that his matchup was right, like was next up on the card, he would have uh, taken that first match? I think he would have uh, chosen to approach that match a little differently. Maybe come in with a chair and went for the disqualification. 
<laughs> that would have been my move. That would have been my move. I'm just saying. Well, you are the trash man, so we we, we know we know what you're capable and of. And it appears like that cold spray really did well. You oh, bringing feet and elbows to going Justin Trudeau. The, going for the quick pin right there. Wow. Yeah. No Maybe good. he was thinking he got that flash knockout. You never know. Hey. I mean, Justin Trudeau does look like he's wearing boxing gloves, so maybe he's ready for a fight here. Yeah. Duh. You never know here in Magic Empire. You get that one critical, puts you away forever. Forever. We have, uh, we, I mean, we've clearly seen the Z-Virus the attack many of our former, formerly knocked out members of the roster. Uh, Absolutely. And, and speed the man who put many of them away the uh, the fiend Jason with his uh, with his infamous knee to the gut mm. chopping people in half mm. literally mm. and he's a member of, he's a member of your team yes TTT full life TTT and I mean, big baller brand always losing when it comes to TTT speaking of big baller brand I've been told I've been told that LeVar Ball and LaMelo Ball might be making an appearance next week on OCW Magic Empire. I, what do you have to say to that? Making an appearance. Take that L. You know what it is. T for life. Full life. Ooh, strong words. Strong Three words. T's full life. Strong words for the <laughs> trash man. And here we got Chops. Chop battle. I don't know if it's a person you want to chop battle against. No, not with Kobashi. Kobashi is not exactly the guy you want to. But Lance Storm came out pretty evenly. Oh, to his credit. Oh, oh, and a come place. And the referee? Nope, nope. Still good. Lance Storm still in this match. And stalling. Delayed vertical. Oh. Yeah. Again, going for that choke. He's trying to take uh, take the air out of Lance Storm's lungs. Mm -hmm. Make stamina a factor. Well. He is, he is making him go everywhere across the ring, cutting him away from Justin Trudeau. Oh, Lariat! Lariat! Oh! As the Lord of the Lariat, I, I do approve of that. How, what, what would you score that Lariat as, out of 10? I'd give that an 8.4 out of 10. 8.4 out of 10 from the Lord of the Lariat. Heard it here first. 4 out of 10. I've and seen, an elbow! I've seen, better. I've seen better from him. So. But, oh, body oh. slam out of the ring. Hardest part of the ring. He should be going for that tag. He's, he, Kobashi's taken a lot of air out of him. He needs to get some rest, and it looks like he's taking our advice. He he is aware that Masawa did just wrestle, so I think he's trying to stay in there as long as he humanly can. But absolutely, oh, this this double team, this factor yeah. right there, they're just stopping him. Masawa's has Masawa's no a little dazed. Him. He's trying to pin like a, the illegal man. Mm. Going so, back whoa. to those chops. Oh. But uh, Trudeau coming in with the, those uh, educated strikes. The yeah. Hands. Oh, he's catching his oh chop. Oh, that's catching those chops. He's catching those hands. Oh, oh, go behind. Whoa, sneaky. Oh, yeah. Goodness. And now Justin Trudeau is cutting off that ring, but uh, Kobashi's imposing his will, oh, putting him in the half him crab. down, slowing him down. Crib. Well, speaking of other matches we have tonight, we also do have the Magic Empire Clusterfuck, which will be uh, determining the number one contender. A to, Magic Empire tradition. The uh, the number one contender for the Jason Voorhees King of the Empire Championship. Uh, we have numerous, numerous former champions this match. Um, tell about who do we have in this match tonight? We have the E. Eternal underdog Aladdin is in this match. Yes, mm -hmm, we do. Yeah. He will be facing the uh, the hero Jack Bauer, the uh, the animal Mike Tyson. We have uh, another. Is John Jones a member of TTT? I don't remember. I've, is... I've lost track of my uh, my roster. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. John Jones is a member of my team. Oh, he's a member of your team, of he's course. A... Ugh, he disgusting. Is a... He is a member of the of the Magic. Empire's maestro of madness's team. Okay. We have Bob Sapp in the match. Hopefully he can provide some entertainment. You know he's always ready to give us a little dance, throw someone out of the ring while he's doing it. Also a member of my we team. We have 
We have uh, Bertha Stiglitz, uh, tag team partner, Katie Angelo, who uh, has a bone to pick with uh, Jason. He uh, Jason put him out for a few weeks with that infamous uh, gut buster. Mm-hmm. We have Parker Stevens, OCW legend, and uh, ugh, ugh, Tiberius Dupree. Ugh. 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 Get that man out of here. Ugh. I hope he loses first. Yes. Ugh. Like I said, this is a, a classic of Magic Empire. A no holds barred match that can end in pinfall. Oh. Whoa, the three D and a kick to the groin. That's just rude. I hear they call that the Canadian Maple Leaf. The three li- the three the three points of the Canadian Maple Leaf. Mm. Right there. Right in the f- not in the top point of it. <laughs> um, we like I said, we have a lot of things going on tonight to determine every, every oh, match. Oh, going Whoa. for a top rope. Dragon's, uh, Tiger Suplex, excuse me. Determining uh, the matches for the March Madness show later on. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, spinning kick. Oh, he wiping, is... wiping, wiping the sweat from his brow. He's working hard. That is... looks like that match is that first match is getting to him. He is, he is not looking so good, but he is keeping uh, he is keeping him out under control. Ooh, bringing him all the way to yeah. the other side of the ring. I mean, that ring awareness is. He he gets he does get whipped into that corner, but he takes him right out, brings him right mm. back to his corner. Mm. He says, "I'm not staying there." Nope. Nope. Oh, I know better. He's not looking too bad right now, considering a man no. who just had a match and sliding right underneath agile. And a counter, dragging him to the middle of the ring. He's gonna go for a pin. Nope. Nope. He's looking for something. Oh, run the ropes. Ooh, oh, elbow oh. to the back of the head. That's brutal. Surprised we didn't see a knockout there. And Storm just looks dazed right now. God. With a counter almost, it seems like, on instinct. Mm. Everybody's getting involved right now. Kobashi's in the ring. I don't know what he has up his sleeve. Oh! Strikes from all angles. To the back of the head. Oh, but Lance Storm fighting out. Lance Storm with the the capture suplex. Going to the top. Oh, and, and hits that drop kick. Missile drop kick. As the uh, and going for a triangle choke. As the savior of the suplex, I do approve of the capture suplex. It's a very nice move. And the, oh, Ooh, half, half Nelson, Nelson suplex. suplex. Also approve. This match may not end for this match. Not last much longer at this rate. Oh no! With the damage they're taking, we've already gone almost 15 minutes more. Lance Storm is just... Lance Storm is staying in there. Armbar. I don't know why Misawa just walked away after he attempted. I think he's just very confident in his tag team partner. Yeah. Oh. Lariotto. Ooh, that, that, that one... That one wasn't too impactful, but it, it, did, it did the job. Oh! Mm-hmm. He right to the face. Now, and another chop. Now, Lance Storm needs to get out of this match because he is just taking some immense damage right A now. A lot of damage. He's risking eating a critical or even just losing the match. Uh, one submission, one big time move will do it. Well, this match, the clusterfuck tonight, is a bit different from this match as I was trying to explain before. It is. A uh, n- match that can end via, Super kick. via pinfall, submission, and or death. 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 And it's elimination. All eight members in the match uh, will be in the match all in the ring at one time until we determine one winner. And that one winner will be facing Jason Voorhees. The at, contender. At March Madness. So, lots on the, lot on the stake. Brainbuster. Oh. A lot at stake in that match. A lot at stake here because mm-hmm. the winners of this tournament, this eight-team tournament, will be facing the tag team of the Poets of the Pain at March Poets Madness. Poets of Pain. The Poets of Pain. Bertha Stiglitz, who you saw earlier tonight, mm-hmm. and her tag team partner, Amazing Pine. Two people you do not want to mess with. Oh! No, sir. Quick hands, catching his hands. We have a Pier 6 Brawl in the ring right now. Oh my gosh. Oh! Tiger Bomb. Tiger. What is Masa- and then What is Kobashi going for? Oh! oh! 
Kobashi screwdriver. Oh, that is what that a is pin. Wall. That is and wall. despite taking the match earlier in the night, Kobashi and Misawa will be advancing. We'll be advancing to the next round. Now, we uh, have some more commercial sponsors, so stay tuned. It's a real thing. Coke is That's the way it should be. Coca-Cola. the world wants to see. That's the way it is. Fill a bottle of Coke and the way it will stay. For the taste of your life, what the world wants today. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. XXX Tentacion and Jason Sensation came out down to the ring. They had words. They dropped the deathmatch cage down. Guy Fieri rappelled down from Flavortown, and we have ourselves a deathmatch. Surprise! You took a first-class ticket from Flavortown, by the way. Yep. Man, that is that is a that is a dedicated referee at OCW Magic Empire. Oh, what happened here? It looks like the Time Lords weren't pleased. Oh, oh, that's some some some, some scariness right there. Yeah. This and this match uh, right now is just gonna be brutal. There yeah, is... Jay Jay hates mumbo rappers. Absolutely. Mumble rappers. And this mumble rapper did not take kindly to his to Jason Sensation's words. So you know what? Let's settle in a death match. Absolutely. The The Magic Empire way. The greatest way to do it. And we do have let's see, we have explosive set up around a ring. We have barbed wire as you can obviously see. This is not going to be a... Uh, this is not for the faint of heart. Absolutely not. Now, are the explosives on a timer for this match, or just when they hit the ropes? Um, uh, You know, I have an explosives guy, and I did not consult him prior to this match, because it was so impromptu. Um, I can, can we'll we... be finding out. I've got my... I've got, can, my, uh, can... you I've know, got my safety goggles on, just in case. I mean... I mean Man, I, I, I just hope I hope it's I hope it's five minutes. It, it could be ten minutes. I don't know if this match will even last ten minutes because they might just rip, sh rip each other to shreds. Yeah, they're they're going at each other. Oh, Jay's been throwing hands, dropping XXX on his head. There is are... that what is that what he likes to go by XXX, wow. Mr. Tentacion? I think we like, you know what, Mr. Sensation versus Mr. Tentacion. I think it's, I like that. It's I kind think of... that that flows nicely. Yes, we'll, we'll go with that. Um, they are, they were working awfully close to the barbed wire. I, 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 yeah. I could just imagine one person trying to get some leverage by grabbing their ropes where the, where the, where the ropes would be and just... Backing, backing into them just for a rest and then... Boom! Barbed wire right to your back. Boom! Barbed wire in your arm. Bleeding everywhere. It could happen tonight. Mm-hmm. The chin lock. And, uh, yeah. Mr. Oh! oh, there's the explosion! It was on a five-minute timer. Oh, and guy, guy, guy took the worst of it. It looks like. The, oh my God, these warriors are. Sensation and Tentacion are just back at it right after the explosion. They absolutely were not phased by the explosion. Guy Fieri, on the other hand, was was on the floor, writhing in pain for about a good thirty seconds. Yeah, it looks like he was busted open as some. Oh. oh! Tentacion just. Oh, Laris. 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 Oh. Swiveling the hips. They are just, they, they do not like each other. They're going right at each other, holy smokes. Oh, goodness. This match, this match, oh, oh. Oh, disrespect. Disrespect, and that's what he And gets. sensation paying it back in kind, holy smokes. And oh no! Oh no! I, I think he's bleeding underneath the the, uh, the wife right there, but I can't I can't tell. I know Guy is ble bleeding. You can see Guy is bleeding. Give Guy up. is definitely bleeding. He Give must have taken up. a oh. shard. Oh, Jay is just looking to damage Tentacion's uh, oh, orbital. Not again! <laughs> oh, the disrespect from from Mr. Tentacion. Oh my goodness. They're just swinging at each other. This is this is OCW Magic Empire's finest right now. I have to say I'm very pleased. 
I am glad more, you gave some me a more set disrespect. of goggles. I'm glad you gave me a set of goggles before. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Who's that? He went, what, 15 feet, feet in the, the air? air. Two. Oh, how did he kick out of that? He went 15 feet up in the air. I don't think any man could possibly do that, but... I just saw it with my eyes. Right? Oh, yep. Sensation is definitely bleeding underneath that white beater right there. Oh, again! <laughs> I believe that is what they call a Kaniku Buster in Japan. Oh my god, that Andy is got the it. pinfall and with he's it. he's brought the mic out. He just said, oh, well, thank god it wasn't a live mic. Thank god it wasn't a live yeah. mic. Or the sponsors that we're about to show are we mad, mad at us. So, speaking of which, stay tuned. I'm sure that no matter where your family is stationed, you like to keep in touch with things, especially new ideas and foods. Well, here's a great one from Circus Nuts. Now, of course, now you can buy all kinds of nuts, but Circus Nuts are really something special. They come in a box, for one thing, and this pack is as hard as a rock. Why? Well, because there's no air inside. They call it Circus Vac in a Box, and they use this expensive packaging method to keep the nuts really fresh, no matter where in the world they're shipped. Dan, will you demonstrate, please, with this? Sure, Dad, but listen closely. You pull the tear tape, like so. Then you take the brick hard pack, and you tear it where it's notched. Ah, oh, I can hear the air rushing in. Yes. Isn't that great? Just like I told you. Circus nuts took out all the air in the first place, so circus nuts are fresher and more delicious. And when your guests aren't eating them by the handful, you probably will be. Dry roasted or regular, they're the freshest. And welcome back. We have the fourth match of the night. Another uh, first round of the tag team number one contender tournament. We have uh, the team of Rick and Morty coming out right now. Facing uh -huh. off against Tyler, the Creator, and Finn from Adventure Time. I, who, I think I give the advantage to uh, Rick and Morty. They're a, uh, a more cohesive unit. I, Certainly. I mean, they've done a lot of uh, travel, traversing the multiverses. As, as you and I are very familiar with. Yes, you and I it are. Builds, it builds a certain camaraderie. It does, it does. I mean, we founded the company that, we sponsor, that sponsors us as well, Tolmec, which you see... Uh, yep. On our ring mat. Oh! Oh! This match started Getting immediately. Getting starting off with a Pepperton plunge. Oh my god, this match is starting off really quick. Judo throw from Morty? Oh my gosh. Didn't even get a chance I to... poke. I like that. That's some TTT jujitsu. This match starting with no... Uh... No, they're they're just letting go. Oh my gosh. And this test is true. Oh! Even test Evenly matched. Oh, this time... Finn, Finn took advantage. Finn, oh... There is, there's no rest for you between these two guys. They're just going at it. I'd like to give a tip of my hat to uh, the man in charge in the ring tonight, Stan Lee. Mm -hmm. uh, a true hoot. Uh, someone mm -hmm. who is clearly not afraid to uh, let it out there sometimes. Mm -hmm. Just grab life by the uh, eyes. Mm -hmm. It's a great way of putting it. Uh, the this match right now is just it's back and forth. Back and yeah, forth. and they're oh. just throwing hands, reckless it's abandon. Both oh, here comes into Tyler. Oh, we got a brawl is, on our hands. We got hands. a brawl. Oh! Total elimination. Wow. Uh, we talked about the uh, Rick and Morty being the more experienced team in the conventional sense, but uh, wow. The total Tyler and Finn are uh, showing some veteran instinct. Maybe they talked about this match a lot, more, a lot before uh, before it happened backstage. Yeah, definitely went to the drawing board. So, Tyler, the creator, uh, a, a personal friend of mine actually. Uh, once I went to a show of his and actually got drop kicked by him, and that's when I knew I had to hire this guy for OCW Magic Empire. I mean, yeah. I took a mean drop kick. I went flying, ten feet. I mean, my boots are not laced, so I just my one boot was ten feet away from me. Just right, drop kicked you right out of your boots. Drop kicked me right out of my boots, and at that moment, I realized ah, that's that's a person I need to keep around me, as opposed to being on the opposite side of things. Mm-hmm. That is a crazy wild man. But, uh, 
Certainly entertaining in the ring. Certainly entertaining. Look at that outfit. I can't even describe what that outfit is tonight. Wearing a uh, green supreme hat, and I have no clue what type of jeans those are. And there's that drop kick that you were talking about. I told you that drop kick sent me flying. And uh, you know what? If if it wasn't for the ropes being right there, he could have went flying out of the ring. Mhm. Mm so. Cut. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, quick hands, quick hands. In the knees. So, we have uh, other tag teams in this in this tournament. Uh, I mean, you've seen the teams of Justin Trudeau and Lance Storm unfortunately get eliminated before to Masao and Kobashi. We also have the team of NC Hammer and the Fresh Prince, also known as Bringing It Back. I think they're my favorites to possibly pull this off if it's not the Zombros. The, the, the Zombros are uh, two of the people that were two of the first people to actually catch the Z virus in the Magic Empire. They. Mm -hmm. They both uh, took some vicious, vicious criticals and died. Died. <laughs> There's no the... no easy way to put it. They D died. D they just died. And but they caught the Z virus, fortunately. So they're they're, they're back. They're back, sort of. In a way. Uh, not the con. Oh. Oh, I, shades of you. I don't think that was smart of him to do that move while uh, while Rick had the, the legs of Tyler Creator right there. So maybe not the smartest thing to do. Didn't fully connect right there. Uh, the, the Zombros, uh, who I forgot to mention, is, is Zombie Baker and Zombie Minio. Uh, two of OCW's uh, you know, regular talent. Ooh, a guillotine choke. He is learning. Where did he learn his MMA? Where did he learn his MMA? Who knows, but Stan was right on that. Making sure there's no submission, especially on the spinning toehold, too. Mm, kicked right to the knee. Kicked his knee out of his knee. What's this? Oh. Ooh, Death Valley Driver. The knee right on the back of the head. Not Oh, arrogance. Oh, this is a reckless pin. Arrogance. the leg there. He might have had it. Arrogance. He's getting out of there. Tyler's getting out of there. Oh, Tyler going for that drop kick I'm telling you about. That's a vicious drop kick. He, Rick is very lucky that he missed that. Rick and Finn going back and forth. Oh, oh. They're getting the better of it. He's tempted to spin. But they're... There they are again. Oh, they're, the hardest part of the ring. Did you, did you see that that veteran instinct? Tyler just drew him a step in, and then Finn threw him over the top. That's. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect. Very this. impressed. Very impressed. And uh, the last two teams we have in this tournament are uh, we have RoboCop and Terminator, also known as the Unified Robotic Force. Dangerous team. Scary. Scary. It's very scary. I mean, it's robots, and it's there's a chance we could have robots versus. Ooh, zombies. headbutt from the top. Who knows that? You know that uh, that hat, whatever you want to call it, the helmet or the scarf. It could be loaded. It could be loaded. I mean, I know thing. I know about things that might be loaded. Are you trying I mean, to imply what? something? I'm not saying anything. Nobody said that. Well, who said that? I don't know who said that. I don't have a loaded no, arm. The sleeve. brawl goes to the outside. I don't know if this is smart. Here in Magic Empire, we do have a 20 count, but uh, it's they best are, not to challenge it. They are cutting it close to that 20 count right now. Stan Lee is definitely going to have to get really close to the ropes and make sure that it doesn't get any closer to the 20. Oh, and Morty gets him back in the ring. Oh, and. Ooh, so does Finn. 17. Ooh, ooh! Rainmaker. Rain. Oh, he just. He. This is just... Whoa! That was some disrespect. Just standing some right high next. High flying to, offense from Finn. Standing right next to standing right next to Rick and saying, "I don't care. I'm gonna do this move. Watch me." Ooh. Mm. And Rick. Oh, with a Jesus. That, I think you might be right. That what that headpiece must be loaded because Rick is out cold from that spear followed by the headbutt. Gosh. Too... His head based offense. No oh, what was that? Did you see? Did you see Rick go into his pocket for something on that last punch? Uh, oh, I, I, I didn't see anything. I, my my angle is a little obstructed right there, so. Mine too. Could be. I mean, we do have lax rules here in Magic Empire. Ooh, and Zaguri. But uh, and, 
it's, it's not to Getting say that Tyler we want every in. match to be uh, hardcore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, and Rick showing off a Rainmaker of Zone. And the last team we have in this tournament, like, oh, headbutt. The last mm -hmm. team we have in this in this tournament is uh, the tag team of really Re William Refrigerator Perry and Jerome the Bus Bettis, known <laughs> as Fridge Bus. Fridge Bus. I was speaking to a uh, friend of mine earlier. Uh, you know, you know him pretty well, Lucas S. S. Dimsmore. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, he said that Fridge Bus is probably his favorite tag team in this tournament, so that's a man who's pretty confident. Hopefully they go far. What is Finn doing? What is Finn doing? Ooh, oh! A package powerbomb suplex. The, I believe he calls that the Finalizer. Ah, oh, man. Oh, oh, dance. Tyler dancing. Tyler does not care, man. He is. Oh, 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 he's breaking out all the moves tonight. What's he going for here? Oh! Whoa. Ooh! Spinning at this is into an arm takedown. And that was just Oh Rick going to the top. Oh we Ooh, and he and he I think missed. he whiffed on that double stomp. Yeah, I think he did. He didn't Oh that was interesting. Sleeper slam. Ooh, brain buster! And again, again with that cocky just... pin. Oh, Finn not taking any, did not like that kick pin. He did not like the uh, the confidence right there and just kicked his leg out of his leg. I think Finn might have saved the day on that little uh, double team right there. I mean, honestly, if, if Rick had uh, had actually done a better pin and wrapped, wrapped the Could have been over. Could have been over. But he went for the standing on top taunt pin. Oh no! There's another Death Valley. I don't know that head though. Oh, this, this is pure disrespect. Oh, that's again. What he, that's what he gets. Finn is oh, hyped. Oh, Finn is charging up. Finn for is hyped. something. Ooh. Whoa! Ooh. Oh. Two perfect plexes. Oh! And a perfect plex. Perf. A leg hook brain buster. Holy smokes! And he just shrugged his shoulders like I can do that again if I wanted to with ease. Might be. He's on fire right now. Right? Rick's been in there for a little too long, I think, and it could, mm -hmm. be, a, it could be the it could be the near down. Oh, whoa. One of yours. Oh! Ooh, a stunner! Oh, a stunner! And this time he hits that double stomp. <laughs> he just He's landed going, right on his What's he going for now? Oh, he thought better right there. Yeah, I think he was going for a second one to make sure. Mm. Oh, strike exchange. Trying to fight to fight his way out of that corner. Mm. Oh! Oh, it wasn't oh! enough! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. These two are going at it right now. Back Ooh, fist the dragon the, screw. Back fist the future before answered with a big boot to the face. Oh! The oh, another big, big boot. boot to the back of the head. Oh, he's working that back of the head. That neck area is probably extremely sore right now. Rick has to have a concussion. Oh, another oh, stunner! Another stunner! And a kick to the groin. That is... Oh. Gotta be is... careful. The, the referees here in Magic Empire are lenient, but... I mean, I we do care. I mean, we care. Like, we don't want people to have... Not be able to reproduce later on. That's mm -hmm. just... You know, I care. I care because I am the king of kindness. Ooh, frog splash to the base of the back. Oh, wow. That's... And a fancy pin. And Magistral. Pin. The Magistral. Fancy pin. No. I don't know how he kicked out of that. Ooh. Short arm clothesline of his own. Not quite the Rainmaker, but... Pulling him back. He's going for another going set Going for of that these? double stomp. Oh! And he whiffed stomp. it. Whiffed again. Whiffed again. Oh! Rain Basta. A little jump ski to that, too. But Finn... Oh, he's dazed. Mm-hmm. Finn! Oh, what's he hitting him with here? Oh, he's setting be another finalizer. 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 And that is oh, all I don't she know why. Road. I don't know why Morty didn't come in there to break Morty. it up. He had a clear path to do it. Maybe that tag team chemistry that we're talking about actually didn't uh, exist there. That's a shame. Yeah. Well, we have more sponsors to tell you about, so stay tuned. I'm Bill Cosby, and the kids in Los Angeles have a slogan, Speed Kills. 
They're not referring to safe driving habits. They're talking about a group of drugs, including ups, meth, pep pills, dex, even bennies. Dangerous drugs, sometimes fatal to the users. And you should know about the up drugs. You may even be taking some now and not be aware of the danger. Write for this free booklet, The Up and Down Drug. Don't guess about drugs when you can have the facts. Ed, whoa, we got the, we got the three, our waifus in the ring already, and they are just going at it. They are not stopping. They are just, wow. It's, it's just three crazy women right now. It's just three crazy women. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. Oh, oh this we is got a double team. This is just rude. Why? 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 Why am I? Ah, oh, boo! This, this is. Uh, I'm clearly gonna have a biased opinion on this match. I'm sorry, sorry. Viewers. And this, now this is a standard triple threat. It's not an elimination triple threat. This is an elimination triple threat. Um, the uh, the match was requested to be that way because I know that women just want to get at each other, and uh, if it wasn't elimination rules, then the, this match just could go on forever. Mm -hmm. It could just honestly go on forever and ever and ever. Uh, this match is being called the Time Splitter's Waifu Patel. I've been, I've been told that that's what the uh, the people in the graphics department put on the match. Mm -hmm. On the on the poster. Yeah. So. I, I think uh, Steph and Emma are playing it smart, trying to get Asuka out first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they should, because my waifu is the best. Oh. Whoa. Dangerous kicks. Ooh, they did not. Uh, that little tag team or a little alliance may not have lasted very long. They, uh, no. They still both want to win. They still want to win. It does seem like they're more focused on Asuka right now, and Asuka's avoiding these strikes adeptly. Oh, oh, she got an elbow. And, and the power, power slam. slam. Oh, no. Hey, get off of her. No. Stop it. Stop it. No, don't Looks you like kick her in the face. trying to wear Asuka down. Don't you dare. Oh, that... Come on, man. You, you can't strike with... You can't strike with the Empress of Tomorrow. Oh... Well, you have to remember, oh, she's just no. gone through two... Two phases of offense from Emma and, uh... Uh-oh. Oh! oh double that's clothesline to my waifu. The double... Referee Herb Dean right there on the top of it, on a rope break. Ooh. And Asuka can't afford to be in these back-to-back -back, uh, rest holds, submissions. She is definitely got to pace herself a little better. I, I'm, I'm, I, I told her backstage before, you know, just, 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 just let, it, let the match come to you. Let the match come to you, you know. Um, you know they're not... Th oh, oh. oh, Emma, no! Oh, that little short-lived alliance <laughs> ended immediately. <laughs> uh, I guess. Yeah, these these back-to-back -back submissions can't be good for Oscar. Uh, well, as uh, some might say, the enemy of your enemy is your friend. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think Tiberius Dupree spoke to us earlier today, and he said that he uh, what was it the friend of my friend is my enemy. I I don't yeah. quite understand exactly what he meant by that, but. Uh, when when your when your enemy's worst enemy is himself, is he also your friend? These are these are the questions we ponder in the multiverse. I'm I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm I'm so confused. Um, we come from the commentary universe, so yeah, we just we just call matches here. We just call matches. Uh, we watch we watch tons and tons of wrestling. We just watch. We, we, we like to look at our counterparts from the uh, from the OCW 626 universe, and uh, sometimes we just say, "Why? Mm -hmm. why? Why? Why can't we just just all sit at a table and talk about wrestling?" Why can't we be friends? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and again, I think Asuka isn't playing it smart. She just keeps getting caught in these submissions. They they're gonna take their toll in the, later in the match. She's not taking the advice I gave her. She's not taking the advice I gave her. I mean, she probably thought she just she probably thought it was something a little different off about me because I am from a different multiverse. From mm -hmm. so. you're just from the commentary multiverse. You don't know what it's like to wrestle a real match. No, unfortunately, I should have had the uh, I should have had the other Mugen go and give her a little coaching before, but 
He was busy running the company. What? Oh, and Steph is cutting an authority promo during this match. Sure. <sighs> and Asuka making her pay for it. I mean, I'm, I'm happy I didn't last for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Asuka. Thank you, Waifu. Oh. oh, an Emma lock on Asuka. Oh, oh, Stephanie. Oh, she's oh, going for it again. She said, goes right back to it. She said, I don't care, Stephanie. And Stephanie's backing away because, uh, oh, it's a little bunch. Broke it up again. Stephanie was, oh, the dangerous kicks. Last one right to the abdomen. One, two, Stephanie's taking advantage of that. Three, really, uh -huh. doing a vertical suplex on herself, but she's, she's wiped out. She's wiped out right now. Oh. Well, but those strikes are still deadly. Oh. Oh, what, another ammo lock. Another ammo lock. Oh, no. Stephanie, stop this madness. Oh, gosh. Asuka can't have much more left in the tank. What is this? Oh. What? Wow. That was a back, a lifted leg back suplex. Mm-hmm. Very creative. I approve. I approve. These two are... I mean, these three, actually. So, oh, Asuka just dancing. Oh, no. Yeah, she I think Asuka, Asuka paid for that indiscretion there. She got caught. She got caught right there. I'm not... Oh, quick slide. Ooh. Ooh. A butt bomb. A butt bomb. Mm. Punch. Striking Punch. from Emma and Steph. No, no, no. Oh, she went with the Dikembe Mutombo. That was a no, no, no. She said no, 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 and she just delivered a strong punch to the face. And Emma, oh no, no, thank you. Oh, oh thank no. goodness. Oh, and Asuka. Uh, hardest part of the ring. Clearing Emma out of, hopefully we can get an elimination while, uh, while all these women aren't on top of each other. I don't know, the referee's Herb Dean right there seemed a little bit preoccupied. Oh, another Emma oh, lock, Emma. but uh, Asuka breaking it up before I can even get locked in. Wow, that was just a rude knee to the side of the head. Legal, legal in OCW Magic Empire, but it's, it's very rude. I approve, though. Unfortunately. Emma picking the leg. Going for that Emma lock. She is. She's been trying to lock that in for a hot minute now. Asuka, she's hyped. Let's go. Picking up both of them. Not exactly sure why. I think sure that was why. a poor, uh, poor strategic decision. Not exactly sure why she did that. I might have to question her after the match. Hoping that she wins. And bringing her then to the near the center of the ring. Oh, collision! Yeah, I'm Asuka looking to take advantage, but not quite. Wow. Oh, dragon screw. That's uh, it's not going to be fun tomorrow morning on that knee. Penalty kick and a German to Steph. Mm. And Manasuka just staring down for a moment. Uh, Asuka's looking some knees to the abdomen, bringing her back to the center of the ring. And, oh, I think it was a ruse. That was belly to back. Belly to back. No! Ooh. No! Oh! Wow, double underhook suplex. Followed by a back suplex. Mm-hmm. Another collision. Uh, wow. Ooh, ankle lock on Steph. I mean, her knee was being worked. Oh! oh. That is just rude! Ask oh my goodness. Oh, these back-to-back -back submissions. Steph might be done. Asuka's looking at it, thinking about breaking it up, but she's just she's gonna let it let us let her ride. Let it ride. Another double underhook. Another double underhook. I'm not appreciating these. Oh, slap! slap. What did a five finger say to the face? Slap. <laughs> German by Asuka, to Stephanie. Now I see the uh, I see some of the ring crew is right next to us setting up, getting ready for the next match of the night, the uh, the MMA match between Matt Riddell and Loki. Yeah, the Dodecahedrons getting it ready. They're getting it ready. So uh, they're just, I think they're just figuring out the little bit, the last bit of details on it. They've got the uh, the IKEA instructions of putting it together. Oh, I I. I Bless their soul for going through his instru Ikea instructions. Yeah, I don't know why we're buying our dodecahedron cage from Ikea. I mean, it's good value, man. It's good value. Yeah, that's true. It's good value. But 
but the, sometimes the instructions. I think they had trouble finding it last week, but they were able to. Oh, low, low. That's the instructions are from another timeline. Yeah, they did find a PDF, but the uh, it was a little bit. It was I think I believe it was all in German. Not not exactly the uh, the right set of instructions. Twenty minutes gone. And we're seeing Emma throw these power bombs left and right. But just, just getting way too close to the ropes every time and. Referee Herb Dean has no choice but to call call a rope break. Mm-hmm. Emma's a little days outside. Stephanie's taunting in the ring right now. Delivering a German of her own. Oh, Emma to the top. Emma, oh. oh missing that splash. Crashed and burned. Asuka's taunting her for... Oh, oh another power walk to Steph. Oh, Could be over. Yeah, I don't know what Emma's trying to do right there. But she was I think she was going for that moonsault. She's staying too close to the rope still. Staying just way too close. Referee Herb Dean. May not be uh may not be the one to stop a match early, but he's definitely gonna be alright on top of the rope breaks. Mm-hmm. Right on top. Oh, kicks, kicks. And another kick to the abdomen. Knees. Oh, kicks for everyone. Knees. This match has been going on for about twenty twenty some minutes now. Still no end in sight. Full force, hundred percent. Oh, the collision! <laughs> These two women have collided about three or four times this match now. Yeah. Same fashion each time too. Running the ropes, just colliding. I gotta say, I mean, did they just not see each other? I don't, I don't know what's going on. I think it's just the exhaustion's catching up. Oh, oh, that is just rude. That is just rude. Oh, and there's another Emma Lock. Emma Lock! Oh. Stephanie wants to smash for herself. She's picking up both women. Oh, victory roll. Victory roll. Two. Two. Three. Oh. Steph is out. Ooh. Your wife who stinks, Dupree. Your wife who stinks. Even in this universe, even in this country. Oh, and now there's no one to break the Emma Lock up. The Emma Lock is on. Oh, Asuka's trying to crawl, but she's not getting much... F oh, she... she and to squeeze out. Just kind of grabbed the arm right there and just ripped her away from Emma. So, uh, she couldn't get full Axe force. Kick. Oh, oh, she's back. Oh, clothesline. No, 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 no. She's looking for that Emma lock. No, not in the center of the ring. Asuka's got nowhere to go right now. No, I don't like this. I'm not a fan. And... Breaking up the move the same way she did before, just grabbing the arm and breaking it up. Oof. Back driver suplex. Oh, double underhook. Double. For your trouble. It's women just delivering suplexes after suplex to each other. Ooh, flying so crossbody. Low break, though. Way too close to the ropes again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bottom oh! Shot. Deadly head kick. Is that all? That's all she that wrote. Is. Oh. All right, good job, wife. Good job, good job. It's That's not what easy I want to see. Get up after a kick like that. That's what I want to see out there. Now, as a uh, ring crew finish setting up the MMA match, uh, we will have some more commercials for you. Stay tuned. I bought the fresh stick, just as you told me. You're absolutely right. It's neat and quick, and it goes on dry. It did make me feel cool and sweet, just as you said. I did everything you said, but my boss still hasn't asked me to lunch. Unlike some deodorants, Fresh doesn't guarantee you'll get ahead in business. All Fresh does is keep you fresh. When you think of it, that's quite a lot. And welcome yeah. back. Welcome back to the City of Magic Empire. These two men are in our MMA ring right next to us, actually. We're kind of hovered above it. Yeah, this is the dodecahedron. We are looking down like kings watching the peasants do battle for us. Mm, mm. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say that to their faces. No, absolutely. I, I will say that all day with the cage in between me and them. Because <laughs> uh, I don't want to take a kick to the face. I have, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, we, we are wrestlers, but uh, I just don't want to kick kick to the face. Yeah. And who's who's our referee? I I just see a bald guy in there. I don't really recognize. Uh, that him. is uh that is referee Mills Lane, actually. Referee Mills Lane. 
we uh, Loki going for a pinfall in this match. I don't know how smart that is. Well, this is actually. Uh, I, I'm glad that you actually said that because even though that that pinfall went away, but uh, this is uh, this is Magic Empire MMA rules. Um, as of the Hootsney world regulations, we do have some different rules and regulations down here, mm -hmm. and uh, the matches are competed under pinfall submission and or knockout so ah. and or by, well, by decision as well of course but um this so who are, who are our judges at ringside for the decision uh the judges at ringside uh i'm actually not i, I wasn't introduced to them earlier tonight um I'm, I'm trying to take a look across i can't really see them too well the cage is blocking me but one of them looks like it could be Luke S. Dimsmore. Uh, from he looks like he's from a different timeline though. He's got the uh, kind of long hair. I don't I haven't seen that version of him in a, yeah. in a very could be, long could time. Could be could be could be the bet the betterness Luke S. Dimsmore from uh, the New Thirty Two timeline. Uh, it could be. It, it's it's a little strange. Uh, that also looks like oh that does look like uh, Cassidy Hayes, but. He's in green attire. I'm. Oh, that's that's the Slurm Cassidy, also from the New Thirty Two. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, and there's an armbar by arm Loki. Bar. Loki, he's going for the armbar. Matt Riddell, he knows about the armbar. He's he's just mounting on the back and oh, wailing on him. And a and third I believe, judge. Uh, the third judge is uh, Mystery Judge X. You can tell by that X on his mask. Hmm. Oh, here here we are in round two. Round two. Round one, too fast. Who, who, who'd you give that? Uh, who'd you give that round to? Ooh, um, I I want to say Loki because I saw some, I saw him attempt a couple submissions, a couple pinfalls, pinfalls. Exactly. Speaking of which, right that's, now, that's where I'm at. I think Loki took that first round pretty handily, actually. Another pin pinfall again. Oh. <sighs> Loki scoring early Ooh, and attempt often. Attempted tombstone. But switched. Oh. Reversed. Not easy to do that. Matt Riddle is, uh, he is in a different weight class than Loki, so that was pretty impressive. Yeah. And, uh, many... Loki has that fighting spirit, though. In many other, uh, states, this match would not be competed because of, uh, the weight difference, but luckily, we here at Magic Empire, we are located in scenic Hootsney World, which is, it is his own, uh, country in this timeline, mm -hmm. so we do have our own rules and regulations when it comes to MMA. Yep. A very slick transition into an armbar right into there. Into an armbar of his own. I think Matt Riddell uh, saw the point discrepancy in that first round, and he's trying to even it out with this round. But uh, Loki is keeping it competitive. Deadlift German into a penalty kick. Oh! oh. Sambo-style suplex. Dropping him on his head. Flying Another armbar. Arm he is trying to rip that arm out of his arm. Mm-hmm. And the more damage he does to that arm... Uh, less offense Loki can throw with it so he's just uh, I think he's limited to his kicks no Loki's, more pins uh, no more submissions Loki's arms might be actually tired because he just went straight for kicks right there so like what you mm -hmm. said maybe there's some damage in the arms or maybe not oh or maybe not key crusher 99 and off two count Matt Riddell oh bro to sleep be over. The king of the bros uh, right there. Oh! King of the bros with a high kick right to the face. Loki is in another world right now. No oh! Answers with his own little high kick to the face. Mm -hmm. Enziguri. Taking him out. This is... Oh, setting up for... Another buzzsaw. That's the second buzzsaw we've seen tonight. Fortunately, he didn't go for the pin. That might have been it. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's Valley Driver. And match. Oh, the round ends, but. Oh, saved by the bell. I thought. I thought. Matt Riddell, Riddell was out. Matt Riddell didn't look like he was. Oh. Uh, he's out now. He's out now. Matt Riddell. Like you said, he's saved by the bell. He did not look like he was in very good shape at the end of round two, but. Basically, I yeah. elbowed to the back of the head, took him out of round three, and your winner, low key. By knockout. Time to wake up. Wake up to Tang. Tang, the happy.
happy new breakfast drink you don't squeeze, unfreeze, or refrigerate. Yet it gives your family more of the vitamin C everyone needs every day. In fact, Tang gives you more vitamin C than the finest orange juice, fresh or frozen. More vitamin A, too. And Tang is so much easier to fix. Watch. Ice cold water in a juice glass, plus one rounded tablespoon of Tang. Stir, and instantly you have delicious Tang. Everyone loves its sunny, wide-awake flavor. Tang tastes fresh because you make it fresh each morning. You get more flavor plus more vitamin C and A than even the freshest orange juice. Look for the jar with the orange-colored cap at your grocer's now. And every morning, wake up to Tang. T-A-N-G. And welcome back to uh, chapter one of Path to Madness. We have... Uh, a tag team special match right now. We got Gisina and Shonuff, as you can see right now, coming to the ring, going right mm -hmm. past the Magic Girls uh, against John Cena and Drago Caesar. Uh, Gisina is all of the evil in John Cena. Just fell off of him and created Gisina. Just create another entity. It's it's kind of amazing how much evil of our Lord and Savior John Cena actually had in him. Mm -hmm. uh, but Sure, surely uh, the team of Geese, and Shonuff is very is very strong, but uh, we know John Cena and Draco Caesar here. Those are just two of the uh, two of the biggest people, two of the biggest names in wrestling. Mhm. Mm and let's talk about the history between Shonuff and uh, Drago Caesar. That's right. Uh, the two of them uh, had a few dating back two months ago, when uh, Drago Caesar actually was teaming up with. Uh, I believe he was teaming up with Bruce Leroy, and show enough, just mm -hmm. delivered a vicious knee that actually, I mean, he's he's put Bruce Leroy on a shelf since. So, mm -hmm. uh, show enough, and Drago Caesar do not like each other, and Drago's trying to avenge for his friend Bruce Leroy once again. Mm -hmm. The eternal feud. Um, Drago Caesar has been trying to eliminate all of that's evil in this world, and this journey is. It's crossing paths with uh with the Cenas, with Geese uh -huh. and John. So we'll let's see if uh, Drago can help Cena overcome his uh his own evil self. You no, know, sometimes sometimes you just need a friend. Somehow you just need him to help. And Drago in a match right now, yelling after every move. He is mm -hmm. he is fired up right now. Test of strength. He is. Fire. Throw him to the ring. I don't know how smart it was to throw him into. Oh, that's. Oh, he's kicked him out. He kicked him out. Fighting his way out, trying to bring it back to his corner, but show enough with that martial arts expertise. Mm. Oh, the mini. Oh, the mini AA. Yeah, mini slowly AA. but surely dragging him back to the corner. Strike battle, slapping him across the face with no, that's no respect right there on on Shonuf. Mhm. Mm Trago's not dragging up. Oh, chop right to the throat. Hmm. Oh, another one right to the throat. And oh, I don't. Ooh. Trago just avoiding that kick. Suplex. Perfect. Perfect plex. Uh oh. Double kick. Evils. Oh. Drago oh. wisely getting out. Bringing in. Oh, they're gonna face off right now. The scene is. Oh, going at each other. Oh, there's. Mm -hmm. This is an even battle. Of course it will be an evil battle. Who will. Oh. Evil gets the better of. Predictable. Good. Evil gets the better of good right now at the moment. Mm -hmm. Why is he know he's very aware of his ring uh, ring location? He's slowly working Cena back into his own corner before uh, whipping him back into John Cena's own corner. He doesn't care. I mean, he's just yeah. evil. I he's mean, just looking to do damage. And a man that evil, he don't oh, bring into the ring. He is oh, John Cena's getting out of there. He does not care. He just wants to beat you up. Mm hmm. Shonuf just staring at it, not really caring right now. 
the sweep of the legs. The two Cenas, the two Cenas right now are just sprawling all over the ring. And Cena whipping him, John Cena whipping Geese Cena into ropes in the shoulder tackle. <laughs> I I'm gonna get confused with saying Cena and Cena because no, well, they're both Cenas. We'll, we'll 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 stick to calling uh, Geese Cena Geese and John Cena Cena. Yes. Uh, just just easier for our sanity. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, oh, John's taking a John Cena's taking a little bit of a breather in the corner with a victory roll. No. Yeah, they're just continuing this high pace, just brawling. They hate the sight of each other. It looks oh, like. Oh, power bomb. Oh, no, I think he was going to going for that victory roll again. It's power bomb. That's just that was just the rudest power bomb I've seen in a while. And oh, Drago actually came in on that. He was afraid for Cena. Geese finally tagged in, showing up, and it, oh no, it's double team. Oh. Oh, STO leg sweep. Wow, that was just that was vicious. Show enough, looking fresh right now. That. Dragon Sleeper. Dragon Sleeper. The crossbody. Oh. Drago. Oh, Drago's. Breaking it up. He knows Cena's in rough shape. Drago is also fired up because it's showing up in the ring. And he's... Ah! Just straight yeah, kicked history. to the knees. Yeah. That's just rude. Judo throw. Maybe he's picked up something. Cena's doing the smart thing and getting out of there. I'm still taking a little damage right now. Not smart. Oh, show enough is on fire. Oh, mm -hmm. not anymore. Not anymore. Drago with the up. Oh, did he whiff? Might have. Think he's searching for that knee again? The same knee he took Bruce Lee out with? He, I mean, he might be. He's uh, definitely been doing a lot of moves, setting up with John with uh, with, with attacks to the midsection of his body, but. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, he hasn't done so much to Drago. Drago dropping that elbow. Drago certainly knows. He's he's been in a ring. They've been in a ring before, and going with the swing, going wee wee. Oh, and, and Geese breaking it up geese wisely. Staying, geese staying in a ring for a moment there, but now he's back to his corner. Drago putting him in a tree of whoa. Oh. Oh, oh! Oh, take, oh, he's just speed boxing with his knees. Oh. Bam, 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 bam. European Tiger. uppercuts. Tiger. The Tiger oh, uppercuts. But show oh, enough, it. cutting him off. Gosh. Geese. Oh, that's not right. Oh, come on. I mean, ref, come on. We, yeah. We're talking about low blows. I think he's being tonight. a little lenient. He sees the uh, the bad blood in this match. The ref is uh, letting some stuff go. And another wee swing. This one might throw him out of the ring, nope. Nope. Referee Charles wee. Robinson. Is he going for the A? Oh! Oh, the dark AA. The dark AA. John knows oh, how John dude. knows how drastic well, he managed to break it up. Oh, and he's trying to take the wind out of him. Prevent another AA from coming out. The dark AA. I thought that was over. John, he, he got out. He got off of the apron. It might have been quick. over, yeah. Oh, oh. short attack. To oh, the back. short. Jesus. Oh, what is this? Oh. Just drops him unceremoniously. The power slam, yeah. Unceremoniously drops him. Another shoulder block, and he hits it. This is. Drago's just getting systematically torn apart. Oh! Oh, Manhattan drop. He's getting out of there fast. Mm -hmm. Good call. Good move. Good move. Victory roll. One, two. Oh. oh. Two. Managed to get out. Shonuf is just staring. Not really doing yeah, much. Yeah, I think he's trying to get back before the the ref disqualifies him. Although I'm not sure. Oh, and now Robinson. they're ganging up on John. Oh, no. Oh! Oh! Double S kick again. Sandwich enziguris. Oh, a palm strike. And another shoulder block. Gisina is. It's just, it's 
seen a lot of him tonight. This is the first time I've actually seen him in a ring, and mm -hmm. I know him and him and John have battled all around the world, but I don't think they've ever battled in a wrestling ring, have they? No. I think it's just been battling within himself, and now that his physical embodiment of evil has come out, it's... They just can't contain themselves, yeah. This ring can't contain themselves. I mean, we we'll have to put him in a cage These closed fist punches, yeah. Oh, the little pose off by Show Enough. Sweeping the legs. Again, with that wow. power slam, yeah. Now he's dropping him at the highest point of that of that move, just for extra, exactly. just for a little extra, extra sauce. The shoulder block again. John gets up first. Mm -hmm. John, ooh, belly to the back. Give himself a little breather. Well needed one. Oh, he's seeing get another as quick as possible. Show nothing, yeah. John very wisely stepped Ooh, away from that spin Brutal team. chops. Couldn't get away from the chops, though. Could not get away from the chops. Sidewalk slam. And worked on that leg, trying to take that knee away, it looks like. Mm, smart, smart. Does it look like he's seen as a... Is he bleeding a little bit on the chest? Can't see uh, right now. I can't see clearly. He's facing away from our camera. It looked like there was a little bit of red on him before, and... Oh! John! Woo! Yoshi Tonic. Oh. Right in front of Geese Cena, though. Not so smart. Oh. And Cena stand tall. Cena's on the... Drago's days. Drago's going back to his corner now. Before referee Charles Robinson calls him. Disqualifies him. Oh, this this little bitter feud is coming to uh, comes to blows again right now. Mm-hmm. Tiger up the cut. Tiger. Tiger. Oh no! Super, Super kick! kick. Whoa! Oh, Tiger, Tiger! This fighting spirit in Drago Caesar tonight. She right doesn't that. Super kick. Is he channeling his friend Bruce? Once Leroy? in a lifetime. Channeling his friend Bruce Leroy, who's still on the shelf watching. Hey, the scene has collide. <laughs> oh, and he's you know, just, just he's wiping out Drago. He's just standing there like a brick wall, almost like if uh, you're running a screen, just running into Shack right Ooh. there. And show enough lands that spin kick. That spin and I kick. think Geese is calling for it. Geese is oh, just throwing hands. Oh, oh, giving himself, giving him a good second to breathe. Well, not too much because Shonuf just walked in, but he just gotten ceremoniously dropped by Draco. Mm-hmm. And drop kick. Draco drop kick. German. German, way too close to the ropes though. That bridge, way too close. Another perfect place. Oh, this oh. one might, but too close to show enough that time. Show enough. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh! That, that sto sweep. That wicked combo that we saw earlier. Drago with the fountain arrow. And the single Drago. The single Drago. Oh, what happened there? Just... Everyone got wiped out there, and oh, what happened? Cena's Cena's trying to get out before a DQ. Drago, Drago, what is he going to set up for? Oh, pile driver! Wicked pile driver! Show. Geese might be done. Geese might be oh, two point nine 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 nine. Shona uh, was a step behind, trying to get in the ring and break it up. Two. Two point nine. Geese won't go down. Geese just fast hands, rapid hands, right there. John's Drago shaking his cut him off. John was shaking his head for a minute there. He just took a wild beating, some yeah. Punches. Two and oh, that is it. That's the match. That is the match. The good triumphs over evil today. Good triumphs over evil for today. But who knows? This uh, th we, this is definitely not the end of the feud. So absolutely not. 
And stay tuned for commercials from our sponsors. Space Control calling Quisp. This is Quisp. Over. An enormous mad ball of yarn is blocking all traffic in space. Uh oh. So it is. Turn back. Impasse road. I must deliver this cargo of Quisp cereal to my pals on. Whoop! It's got him. A naughty problem. Fortunately, there's always time for a bowl of Quisp cereal. Use your Scrooge gun. Nope. I'm using these knitting needles instead. Knit one, pearl two, knit one, pearl two. Cast off, knit one, pearl two. Cast off, knit one, pearl two. What blinding speed. He's knitting up that mad ball of yarn faster than it can unravel. There it goes. And in its place, a hand knit necktie, 87 miles long. Yay! A good yarn, but Quake is better. Oh! Uh -huh. Quisp is best. Get the point. Quisp. From Quaker. And welcome back. We have the MMA Elite coming out to face the Night Stalkers. Who have we got on the MMA Elite tonight? Uh, we've got Mirko Krokop. Uh, we've got Fedor Emelianenko. And Boss Rutan. Uh, think we're going to see a liver kick tonight? Oh, I'm, I, I would hope so. I would hope so. I, I, I'm sure your, uh, your son... May not want to be on the receiving end of that, but absolutely not. Speaking of my son, here he comes now with his uh, brood of vampires. We have Vampiro ah. and Gangrel flanking him. Ah, I like what you did there. A brood ah. of vampires. Mm -hmm. uh, these vampire enthusiasts. Um, it's the first night they tagged up together, but obviously they have a common vision, a common. Uh, I don't know what to call it. A common trait, almost. Mm-hmm. You know. And uh, Wooly is the man in charge in the ring tonight. The great Wooly. Right and uh, we can't neglect the uh, six-man tag experience that Cass has competing with TTT against every manner of opponent. Against several different types, of, uh, several opponents. Uh, I mean, he's teamed up with you. He's teamed up with Dennis Black. Teamed up with Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley, all members of TTT. Um, it's just, you know, it, it could it could come in handy tonight. But the MMA elite. Um, that MMA style is just so powerful. Dave taking out team after team. This is. Mm -hmm. This, I believe, is their third defense of the title since winning it, so... I believe they're the longest reigning champions at the moment, so... Mm -hmm. Cassidy and the rest of his uh, vampire friends are definitely, definitely in for, in for a little task here. Pill battle. Boss Rutan, though, he's, it's not looking too good for him. He's been... Yeah, Night Stalkers have been, uh... Oh, and here's where... Oh, no, no that's not Boss good. has the advantage. Those Pancrase-style strikes. Oh, that's not good. Vampiro catching him up with Nzigiri. Night Stalkers been tagging in and out quickly. Oh, Boss Rutan's getting out there, just as we said that. And... Ooh, and an MMA-style powerbomb. <laughs> not conventional MMA moves, but... It works. It works. Mirko Kroka... Oh, 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 oh boy. Swinging that left, swinging that left leg. Oh, and they're responding with their own MMA style powerbomb. What did they used to say? Left leg, uh, what was it? Left leg hospital, right leg cemetery? Or was it mm -hmm. the other way around? I can't remember. Ah, uh, for Mirko, I don't remember. I haven't seen him compete in such a long time. Outside of the Magic Empire, I should say. I should clarify. Mirko was a mainstay in Magic Empire. One of the one of the originals, actually. Mm -hmm. Facing off originally against uh, Mr. Sensation. On the yes, first. and the Mirko Krokop Challenge. The Mirko Krokop Challenge, which unfortunately did not last too long. Mm -hmm. When the challenge virus was going around in the OCW Magic Empire, Cassidy is keeping his distance from Fedor. He knows. He's wise. 
He's just laying a little kick, and then they're oh oh, sending him back. Watching watching that takedown. Cassidy is smart. Oh no. Oh, we can't afford to eat these punches. He's back up. In Especially the after the uh, the beating he took from uh, Boss early on. Mm. Your son Cassidy here though, he is. Well, except for that moment right there, he was staying really good. Oh, some oh, Bertha no! style punches. No, not this way. Impure and Gangrel are running in there quick with the quickness. Oh! 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 Oh, oh, oh. oh wow, the triple beatdown right there. Coming from the Night Stalkers. Total elimination! Coming from the Night Stalkers. Cassidy going to the top. Oh! He's not the legal man, so he couldn't get the pin right there, but he delivered a... Making Fedor pay. Making Fedor get out of the rink with the quickness. If they keep Fedor out of this ring, that's one less man to worry about. He's just, uh -huh. he's just wailing on Vampiro. Oh, Making right. Vampiro pay. Oh, gosh. Boss Rootin's oh, he's taking a little breather. Oh, leg kick. Adjusting his tights, it looks like he might be having some sort of wardrobe malfunction. No, I don't want to see that. That's uh, mm -hmm. not exactly my thing. Not exactly my thing. Now, if we had a wardrobe malfunction earlier in the waifu Patel, would have been great. Then we're talking. We're then we're cooking. I guess. think uh, I think the Night Stalkers have taken better advantage of this uh, tag team stipulation. Hmm. Constant tags in and out, uh, double team maneuvers. Well, I mean, they do come from more of a wrestling background, and they probably, I mean, Dave Hall had some type of tag team experience while mm -hmm. the MMA Elite's tag team experiences basically come from the moment they were come to, came together as a team here in Oak Magic Empire. Here comes Mirko. Mirko has taken the least amount of damage in this match. Oh, the hardest part of the ring. The MMA Elite, I mean, MMA is a individual sport, so... I don't know, maybe the, just uh, the idea of... Working just keep keeping yourself in there as long as you possibly can might may not prove to be a valuable asset. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gangrel with those I don't know what to call that suplex. It's kind of a, uh, a side toss suplex. Fall away so a suplex almost. Yeah. But as you can oh. see, even though he's in the uh, the weaker position right there. Slowly worked him back into his own corner. So when he he was at that disadvantaged position, his team just came right in there to deal some damage. Oh no! Oh, is he out? Is he Here out comes cold? the kicks. Oh, is he out cold? That was oh, oh, that's rude. Dropping a knee to the back is his knee. Oh, and oh. Gangrel can't afford oh, to be no. eating those kicks from uh, Crow Cop. Crow Cop says that he doesn't care. Oh, the, the Cass and Vampiro are blocking each other from getting the help they need. Oh. Mm-hmm. Cass and Vampiro both are looking to try to get some, give uh, your Devoid Gangrel some help right there, but causing more problems than actually helping. It's double team right now. Two of them in the ring. Looking for a double underhook. Oh, double underhook powerbomb. Might be it. Ooh, oh, almost saw a title change. Almost saw a title change tonight. 2.9. 2. Point nine. Two point nine. Oh, goodness. Oh, Gangrel can't afford to take any more kicks. I mean, Mirko Krokop is known for that deadly kick as we were talking about before. Oh, total Fedor. elimination. Fedor with the punch to Gangrel. And that's the match! Is that the match? Oh! That's the match. He put him in a he put him in just the vicious chin MMA City. chin lock. That is the match. MMA Elite defend the match. The, the, the titles. The whistle, you gotta have a cup of tea. Listen to the Lipton whistle. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Lipton tea. Lipton flow through tea bags, like two bags of flavor in one.
And the main event tonight, the Magic Empire Clusterfuck, the uh, number one, for the number one contendership, the Jason Voorhees is King of the Empire Championship. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, Mario Yamasaki is the man in charge. No, uh, he is oh. actually a Mario Yamasaki's doppelganger. That is Harry Dix of, uh, <laughs> of CW Magic Empire staff. An original, actually. As I say, our Asians are rook right. <sighs> Including us. Including us. We do. Tiberius Dupree mistakes us for each other quite too often. I hope Tiberius Dupree dies in this match. <laughs> Speaking of which, he's going up against Katie Angelo, uh, getting the upper hand. Somehow. Uh, somehow. Hopefully he doesn't find himself in a black rack. Ooh. Maybe. Maybe it would be good. Black uh, not wrong. Yeah, let's just keep your chaos right now. So who do you think has the advantage in this match? Um oof. I mean K D'Angelo, you can make an argument for K D'Angelo because just of his pure size. Mm -hmm. You can make a, a an argument for Jack Bauer just of his just knack for getting out of crappy situations within twenty four hours. Um as much as we hate him, betterness is a proven finisher in uh, Magic Empire. He knows how to finish a match. There's, I, you can make an argument for everybody. I'm personally going to root for uh, my friend, good friend, close friend, Bob Sapp in this match. We just got clotheslined, unfortunately. Because, uh, uh, you know what? That's my boy. I got I to root for him. I think uh, John Jones has all the tools he needs to win the match, but... Uh, I think Aladdin pulls it out, that underdog special. You can't count Aladdin out, because uh, Aladdin was the first person to defeat Jason Voorhees uh, months ago, when Jason Voorhees was on his path of rampage. Mm -hmm. so, Leaving bodies in his week. Bodies after bodies. Uh, Katie Angelo is one of them. He was left on the shelf for months. He's uh, in here looking for revenge. He's, he's here on a path for revenge, and this is the first step to that. Um, Jason Voorhees also left people like Versus. The Holy Versus was put on the shelf. There hasn't, hasn't been come, he hasn't been seen back. I haven't heard much about him either. Mm -hmm. um, just, like you said, a long Versus time. was our uh, inaugural King of the uh, Magic Empire, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, he he was in the match, but. Uh, mm. Which Bob Sapp won. Bob Sapp is the original. Oh, Empire. Bob Sapp is the inaugural champion. Bob Sapp is the inaugural champion as well as the King of the Beach Party last year. Oh. When he won the annual uh, Beach Party tournament. Oh, Black Rack! Oh, there's a Black Rack. Jack Bauer is in trouble right now. If he doesn't get somehow find a way to finagle his way, he did find a way to finagle his way out of it. And referee Harry Dix is on the ground. Something must have collided with him. Oh, and he's taking it pretty badly. The match could end right now, and he won't even know. KD's been sent out of the ring. Aladdin just battling, sending punch after punch into Parker Stevens' face. Aladdin, like you said earlier, tonight, is the pure underdog. Uh, this man... He has... There's no reason for him to win this match, but he'll find a way to do it. He will always find a way somehow. It's that Disney magic, I'm telling you. It's that Disney magic. Man, Bob Sapp and Diberius Dupree are fighting Mike Tyson. Well, can't count out the can't count out Iron Mike Tyson. We haven't seen this type of Mike Tyson in, in I can't say I want to say in years since since he entered OCW Magic Empire. It looks like he basically went through a time machine. Oh, another Black Rock on Aladdin. Oh my goodness, he can't be in this match for much longer. He just gets up. He has that heart. A lot of violence in this ring. Everybody's just kind of in this uh, bottom cord. They were in this bottom corner of the ring. Mm -hmm. Spread out a little bit now. John Jones, unceremoniously getting dumped. Double power bomb, 2.9. A lot of double teams in this match. Well, people are trying to find some alliances to make quickly. Everybody wants that. Everybody wants a shot at Jason Voorhees. I think the path to victory here is finding a way to clear this ring and uh, just isolate someone. 
eventually it's gonna be one on one, so you might as well try to just work together. If you take out one guy. Oh my goodness, Jack Bauer with the uh, vicious snack, snap of the neck of KD. But KD's fine. Mhm. Mm KD ain't no punk. These two big men right now, KD and Bob Sapp, are just wailing at each other. La oh, super kick. Mike Tyson throwing some kicks. Who would have thought? I mean, he's got to learn. He's got to like just switch up his game a little bit. Everybody's thinking, oh, I'm just gonna throw punches. Just throw a kick just takes you out of your element. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of punches, just punched. Super kick. Oh, it's a shooting star. Two. Oh. Two point nine. Mike Tyson almost out of this match. Like we said, Aladdin, Aladdin with the burning power slam. Somehow finds a way. I don't know. This it's just that Disney magic somehow just gets gets him going. And Bob Sapp looking to eliminate. Oh nope nope, not yet, not yet. Not yet. Throwing those punches. I might get a TKO. Oh, truth. Oh my God. Shoot siren. And no. Tiberius the just gets up. Oh, the D's. The D's. Fancy pin. Going to fancy pin. No, Parker Steve's not going down to a fancy pin. Mm -mm. He might be going down to those Mike Tyson punches. Nope. Nope. Parker Stevens to the top rope. Oh, for, for that signature elbow. Oh, John Jones just got eliminated. I don't know what happened. I did not see. Just saw referee Harry Dix just calling him and telling him he's, he's, he's done. He's gone. He's done for the night. I honestly missed what happened right there. There's so much going on in this match. It's chaos. You blink and don't see what happens. I literally went down for a sip of my drink and uh, just missed it. John was gone. John was gone. Saw referee Harry Dix having to call the match right there. I mean, having to call him out of the match right there. Oh, Jack Bowers just kneeing the back of Katie Landry's head. Oh, Jack Bowers gets kicked in the back. Oh, I thought Aladdin was gone there, but the ref just wasn't on top of it. Referee, he's got his hands full right now. I can't blame him. Honestly, the match is like, oh, straight right by Jack Bauer. Mm -hmm. He is. Did he just come? Aladdin's still dazed. Tiberius Dupree was just eliminated. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's right. Get out of there, Dupree. You stink. Ooh. We don't like you. And the elbow drop to the back of Mike Tyson. Parker seems going for it again, and it's landing it again. It's it on Mike Tyson. But he's gas himself. I don't know how smart it was Ooh, to go for two. Neckbreaker from Aladdin. Suplexes oh. Jack Bauer out of the ring. Oh no, Mike Tyson. Punched Parker Stevens right in the back of the head. I don't know how Parker Stevens is still awake. Ooh, a knockout punch to Aladdin. Mike Tyson is looking to knock out everybody. At the uh, the Boxing Day special, Mike Tyson basically knocked out what, uh, was it rapper after rapper. Knocked, finished that match by basically killing Method Man, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. RIP Method Man and, and Magic Empire, but... Completely just knocking his face off of his face. Somebody in his match tonight oh, can get their Parker face with the pepper and sleeper on Tyson. Somebody in his match can knock get their face knocked off their face. Like we're Aladdin right now, watch out! Mm -hmm. Might get hit with that TKO. Oh my goodness. I don't no, know. No, he survived. Landon, I don't know how Land is just standing there. Land is just standing there like nothing happened. I'm impressed. Oh, oh, low blows from Parker. Ooh, Parker just wants to take a breather. He's like, don't bother me. Don't bother me. I'm just going to kick you. He'll kick you in the nuts. Oh, another oh, one. Aladdin oh, Aladdin taking no. another one. I guess he won't be having some fun with Jasmine anytime soon. No, sir. Jack Bauer. Oh, Jack Bauer taking out Kitty Angel. Not an easy feat. Headbutts. Headbutts to the back of the head. I don't, I'm not looking for the TKO. Not sure it's the smartest way to last yourself in a match where so many people 
Aladdin with the pin on Parker Stevens gets Backslide. the three. Wow. One, two. And, and KD gone after that power bomb. KD Angel defeated by Bob Sapp after a beast bomb. That's wow. Down to four competitors right now. We have Mike Tyson, Bob Sapp, Jack Bauer, and Aladdin. Jack Bauer and Aladdin are uh, obviously no no strangers to each other. Oh, another beast bomb. Beast bomb to Mike Tyson. One, two, two. Mike Tyson is gone. Bob Sapp is on a mission right now to reclaim his... Uh, he is, the like we said before, the first King of the Empire champion, but since then... He just hasn't really had much luck in here in Magic Empire. Hasn't had the fire. No. We saw Jason Voorhees hold the title for the longest out of everybody. We had Aladdin hold the title as well. Defended it several uh, times. Ah, military press. And Jack Bauer also held the title briefly before Aladdin Two. won it back from him. Aladdin somehow surviving. Aladdin is just... That is one determined individual, is all I can say. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. oh, oh, just digging the elbow in the side of the head. That's not It fun. looks like Bob Sapp and Jack don't want to deal with uh, Aladdin's underdog stylings. I mean, I wouldn't want to deal with Disney Magic either. Clubbing him back in the back of the head. One, this is over. Two. Oh. Aladdin, the vicious elbow. Aladdin, I don't know how he got him up there. Vertical suplex. I don't know how he got him up there. Bob Sapp is no lightweight. Uh, Bob Sapp is no lightweight. I don't know how Aladdin just lifted. Oh, ouch. Right to the head. Oh, clubbing blows by Bob Sapp to, to Jack Bauer. At the uh, Boxing Day Super special. Super kick. Boxing Day special, actually. Aladdin was defending his championship against Jack Bauer and Jason Voorhees, which... Uh, which obviously Jason Voorhees won and has been uh, just waiting for his next contender. It could be mm -hmm. any, any one of these three men right now. Any one of these three men. Bob Sapp. Oh, oh, oh. Aladdin going to the top. Oh. Oh, and he missed the elbow Whiffed. drop. This could cost him the match. Whiffed. Whiffed. Oh, Bob Sapp just using his weight as leverage right there, just backing his, backing his ass up, if you must say. Putting right into Jack Bauer, taking him down. Oh, oh, Bob Sapp. Again, Sapp. whiffing. Bob Sapp with the ruse right there. Dared Aladdin to jump off and just stepped away. Smart move, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 collision! Jack. Oh, the collision. And Bob hasn't Sapp. Hasn't been able to isolate his opponents. Bob Sapp might have actually did a trick roo on them. Took, a, took an extra step and distracted them. Had them collide on each other. Mm-hmm. The fire. Jack Bauer's fired up. Jack Bauer is just trying to get... He wants this title. He wants a one-on-one. -on -one. He wants a one-on-one. -on -one. I've just been... Oh, no. I've just been told that uh, apparently somebody's made a challenge out to Jason Voorhees. I've been told that uh, it's... The, is that right? P Predator? Oh, wow. The Predator has uh, made a challenge to Jason Voorhees. I, is this for next week? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to get more word. I'm just getting hearing my headset right now from some of my staff. Some of the staff here. And I'm just hearing Predator is is making an appearance next week, and he's he's gunning straight for Jason Voorhees. I don't, I don't know if they're gonna get a match, but I think he's we'll see. he wants to throw. Oh, here's his. another beast bomb. Beast bomb. That's gotta be One, all. Two. Wow. Oh. Now to our last two competitors, Jack Bowers trying to take any advantage right now, just biting. Just biting Bob Sapp right in the freaking mm -hmm. face. It's not right. Beast oh, bomb! Oh, beast bomb! This is it. Beast bomb! Two, three, and that's my boy right there, Bob Sapp. The inaugural champion faces the 
Jason. Unstoppable, Jason. I mean, I'm getting word. I mean, Predator, he is trying to throw his name into the hat for a title shot. So, with that said, though, that is the end of night one of the Path of Madness. Find out what happens on night two. Please join us. And thank you. And have a good night. Peace.